Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set a custom domain name to point to your Tumblr blog. So you'll want to start by, of course, logging into your Tumblr account and you'll see a screen like this. Then you'll want to click on the gear right here at the top. This will bring you to your settings screen. And then on the left rail, you'll see account, dashboard, email, apps, and then you'll see the name of your blog here. You want to click on that. Here you'll see the option to use a custom domain name. Now keep in mind that if you have not verified your email account with Tumblr, you will not yet see this option. So if you don't see this option, please take that step and get your email verified and then log back in. You'll see this option here and you want to check that box. Then type in the custom domain name you want to use. Here we're going to use this domain name for testing purposes and then click test your domain. In most cases, it's obviously going to say that the domain's A record is not pointing to Tumblr. You need to change your domain's A record to 66.6.44.4. Okay, great. That seems kind of confusing to most people, but it's really not. So don't get overwhelmed. You want to copy these numbers right here. And then you want to log in to your domain name registrar. So for example, mine is with GoDaddy, but yours could be with Network Solutions. There's so many domain name registrars out there. It's where you purchased your domain name. So you want to log into that account. I have my domain names at GoDaddy, so I'm going to go into their panel, and then I'm going to click Launch. When I click on Launch, it's going to show me all the domain names that I have with GoDaddy. You want to click the domain name that you want to point to your Tumblr blog. So in this case, I'm just using this one as an example. And um, I clicked on a domain name, and now it's showing me the settings. So I don't want to affect the settings. I want to affect the DNS zone file. Now, for some registrars, this may look different, so you may have to call them. But in most cases, if you click around a little bit, you can find where the A record exists, and all you need to do is change the A record. So you want to click edit here and this will launch the DNS manager and you want to click on the pencil right next to where it says points to and remember this is the A record and it has an at sign next to it so that's how we know this is the record we want to change. And as you can see here I already have the A record set but this is just to show you you would paste it right here and then you would click save zone file and it's going to ask you are you sure you're about to make these changes just checking with you and you want to click OK and it'll let you know it could take one hour or it could take up to 48 hours. I've never seen it take 48 hours before. Typically it takes effect in about a couple of hours. Now if you go back to Tumblr and you click test your domain name again it's not going to work right away. So what I recommend is logging out of Tumblr, logging out of your domain name register, let it sit for a while, and then check the website by typing in the domain name in a couple of hours, and most likely it will come up for you. If you have any issues, you can post a comment below, and I'll try to get back and respond as quickly as possible. Thanks so much for watching.